This week on Nation, we're talking about you're too expensive. Why people say that. Are you too expensive? What should you charge? Why should you charge it? Hopefully we'll pull three lessons out of it. Hopefully it doesn't suck. But either way, hopefully you spend some time with us. So stay tuned to WCR Nation. And what's up, everybody? My name is Jersey, and you are here. What's going on? Uh, I really appreciate you guys checking us out. Uh, if it's your first time, have a look around. We are in the 80s, 80, episode 88 now. Uh, go back, listen, binge it all. Uh, I'm getting uh, people sending me messages saying they just listened to 10 hours. They just discovered it, and they're finding out that uh, they like to kind of listen and, and catch up on everything. So please go do that. If you're one of the cool kids and you do all of that, you watch, you view, you thumbs up, you like, you comment, and of course, you buy your supplies through me, being that I'm a rep for a window cleaning resource. I really, really genuinely appreciate it. You guys really make my world go round. Thank you so much for being awesome. Bigger little orders, please put them in through me. My number direct, 862-312-2026. Yes, send me some cheddar. Send me some cheddar. And real quick, I'm also on Instagram now as of a week ago. <laughs> I'm so old. But I'm on Instagram, so please go follow me right now if you're on Instagram. It is Jersey WCR Nation. Go ahead and follow me. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully you dig the content over there. Also, quick shout outs. Brandon Evans, what's going on, man? Uh, always commenting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Brad Hyatt, what's going on, man? And uh, David Davies, here's your proper shout out, man. I wasn't talking about you. I was just bringing it up. Uh, he was one of those guys who is sending me cheddar next time he puts an order and he's ordering through me. So that's stinking awesome. And of course, the Window Ninja, what's up? Whew. Okay, so this week we are talking about you're too expensive. And um, first off, I want to say, that FEB, right? Figure out what that stands for, I guess. But uh, we've had some videos that have come out on price and who's expensive and why they're expensive and things like that. And it's cool. That's literally awesome that people talk about price. It's one of the biggest things that are talked about on our forums, on the Facebook groups, everywhere around um, is price. And you having a business have to focus on price too. Price is a big part of it. But pricing is a bigger part of your business if you make it that way. Here's the other thing that if you don't quite tell people what you're selling, then all they can figure is the price. I always say this scenario, I'm going to say it again. So if you are going to buy something, I'm going to sell you something right now, and you have to buy one of these options. It's either the $1 option, the $100 option, or the $1,000 option. I'm not going to tell you what it is. What are you going to buy? Well, of course. Every one of you, you don't know what it is. The only thing you're focused on is price. You say, well, I'll buy it for a buck, I guess. That's all you know. But what if I told you it was a new Ferrari, a Lamborghini? What if it was a brand new house on a lake? Cabin in the mountains. Right? Those things you can see in your head. Whoa, a Ferrari? Dude, I'll buy two. Can I buy two of them at $1,000? Right? You've seen it in your head. You get what you're buying. Even people who aren't car people, you still understand the value of something. And now you're not focused on price. Right? And that's the same thing in, in service. Services are not what you think they are. It is not a price war. It is not something that you and your competitors are going to war over price. You know what price you need to make. They don't need to know, right? You may have more overhead, more advertising, more profits, whatever. Whatever it is, there any reason that you have, who cares? If you want to make $100 an hour, but they're at 50, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is how you sell the job. Now, in services, all services, we'll talk about window cleaning for just this situation, but in window cleaning, the end objective is all the same. A window is clean, a window is clean. Doesn't matter if you make the cleanest window or if you make the, you know, uh, the, the perfectest, you know, 
a clean window's a clean window. That's not really what they're buying unless that's all they know, right? So here's the other thing. If you're going to charge more money, you have to explain to them why they're going to choose you, not why they're going to pay your price, just why they're going to choose you. And Mike Geller said a really good thing. Mike Geller, if you haven't seen him, he's on forums, he's all over the place. He used to be a magician, a very good magician. Ask him to do magic, he will blow you away still to this day. But um, he used to be a magician. He said something that really resonated with me. He said that he had a mentor at one point say, um, make them want Michael Geller, the magician. Don't make them want a magician. Because if they just want a magician, magic's magic. But if they want Michael Geller, there's only one of them. It doesn't matter what you're paying because you can only get one of them. And that's the same thing in your business. Now, like I said, a clean window is a clean window. Like, that's fair, right? We understand that in the mindset, sure, some people suck, but in the mindset, you can't sell somebody on how clean your window is going to be. Ah, uh, we don't leave any drips. Ah, uh, we don't. Because everybody assumes that everybody's doing that. That's an assumption that, that that's what they're getting. It's like going to a gas station and one of the gas stations saying, our gas, oh man, it's the gassiest gas that it makes you drive your car and you get my, no. Because gas is gas. When somebody comes in and goes, oh, use the new BP Ultra. It's the cleanest, you know, it's got less blurps than the other one. It's super hard to do that because all gas in your brain does. Gas is gas. Like, yes, you have a favorite brand. You know, you may think one's junkier than the other. But it's still gas. It's still combusts. It makes your car go. So what they have to sell is the experience. They have to sell on a lot more things to get your brain off of just that gas. Now they're all, the price is saying that doesn't matter. But why do people choose one gas station over the other? Think about it. It's not going to be the gas 99% of the time. It's going to be what comes with it. They like this one station. They find it the easiest on their commute. They, you know, like the convenience store the best. They have the cleanest bathrooms. Oh, there's a subway in that one. So every time I go in, it smells like fresh bread, right? There's a lot of weird things that you can do to kind of sell. And those are different reasons people will buy. It's kind of funny uh, if you look at advertising, which I'm, I'm always a fan of advertising, but look at uh, cologne and perfume ads. The dumbest, most waste of money ads that anybody can make is a cologne or perfume ad because I can't explain what it smells like. I, you know, the c colognes and perfumes don't smell like one thing. If I could say, it smells like fresh berries. Well, then you're, you're buying berries, but anybody can make berries. You can't specifically explain scents unless it's just like that or you know that scent. If I said, man, it smells like cool water. Well, if you know what cool water smells like, then perfect, you get it. But you see these ads and it's this whole experience and everybody's got diamonds on and, and pearl necklaces and, and dresses and they have, uh, you know, experiences and they're out in the city and having a drink and having a good time. They're selling the experience that comes, why do you put perfume on? It's because you're going out doing something, right? It's because you want to impress people to walk by and it's this and you see Julia Roberts and it's, that's what they're selling, not what the smell is, right? So interesting, how do we play that back to window cleaning or pressure washing or, or gutter cleaning or house washing or lawn care, right? Um, the big thing is, is that we're selling something that isn't clean windows. Everybody's got the clean windows. So what are you selling? You're selling the experience. You're selling the ease. You're selling you. You're selling your crew. But they only can get their crew when they meet them. That's a hard one to sell on. Because sometimes people aren't going to like you. They just don't. There's people who just don't like me. T Squeegee doesn't really like me. <laughs> right? FEB doesn't really like me. Um... You know, it just is what it is. You can't please everybody. It's a big realtor concept too, is that when you put your face on something that you're instantly, all realtors, 50% uh, of people hate that realtor. And the reason is, is because they don't like their face. Something inside of them. That every realtor has their face on there, right? That little, if you're listening, I'm, I'm making posing right now. I'm posing, not making posing. Making poses, whatever. <laughs> but that's what they do. So it's very hard to play on that. But What's your USP? Here's another interesting thing about price. Is that when you're selling 
Just think of this. Let's just do this for a second. You're listening right now. You're watching. You're listening. You're whatever. Thank you, first and foremost. I want you to go on to Instagram when you have a free second. Again, tag me either uh, at Jersey WCR Nation or our hashtag is I am Nation. Go ahead and start a conversation there, but uh, on a picture. But let me know what your USP is. And I ask this question all the time, and it shocks me that people don't have an answer. It shocks me why do people want to buy you? And I have people. Say, well, it's on the cheapest. <laughs> that's that's the worst. That's the worst possible way that people want to choose you. Listen, even if you are the cheapest, now you listen, you go, man, I can't charge more of my customers. Yes, you can. You can absolutely charge more. I'm telling you right now. But the why somebody chooses you, if they're only choosing price, they're going to choose the next guy who's a dollar cheaper. You're not getting a client who's buying you for you. You're getting a client that's buying you because you're cheap. That's crazy, right? A lot of you have that out there, but your USP stands for unique selling point. That means the why, right? The elevator pitch. Why does somebody choose you? Well, I am the uh, best window cleaner in the in my market. What does that mean? That doesn't. That's not a thing. Everybody's the best. Everybody's the best. How many times have you seen? You know, uh, voted number one best. It, it, it's, they're all that way. You don't clean a window better than somebody else. Not in somebody's brain. We're not talking about actuality. Maybe you are the most meticulous person. No one cares. You're the one looking at the glass. That's not a selling point. Why does somebody choose you? Why? If you think that they're choosing you just because of you, they've talked to you and they really like you, that's a good starting point. But what happens when you get employees? Is that the only reason they're choosing you? Because if you get employees, I've said the story just last week, Guy walks up with the check. I'm cleaning because one of our guys, two of our guys at that time, called out. I am on the job site with this uh, Gary, who's an operations officer at the time, and uh, I'm helping clean um, the glass with him. Guy walks out with the check, and he goes, oh, man, just flapping the check. Oh, I could take that. He goes, no, um, actually, I'm going to give that to Gary, if you don't mind. It's just I feel better that way. Gary's the guy that works for me. He hands me the checks at the end of the day. I said, oh, well, absolutely. I completely understand. He's uh, run back. Now he's the face of the company. So if somebody's buying just because of you, well, what happens if you get employees, right? So think about that. Think about the USP and why somebody pays for your service. Why somebody chooses you over somebody else. It has to be a good reason. It has to be a list of reasons. Because once you find the reasons and why somebody chooses you, you're the one that sh- you're the one that offers that, right? If you say my unique selling point is that I have a seven day rain guarantee, and other companies have a seven day rain rain guarantee, that's not your unique selling point. That's not why somebody chose you. That may be one of the reasons, but what are the reasons? What's your niche? What's you? That's what you're selling on. You have to know this. You have to know kind of your elevator pitch. We're not really in that industry, but you know what I'm saying. You have to know how in 30 seconds you can sell yourself on why you're better than the next guy. And if you think, no, I don't. Uh, people just come to me. They just come and they, you know, they hire me. Things are good. You know, you are letting the ball go. What happens when you take a um, boulder, a, a, a exercise ball or whatever, you stand at the top of the hill and you let it go. It goes down. But where does it go when it goes there? It just takes its own path. If you drop a boulder or something, it starts going fast enough, it doesn't matter who's in its way, what's in its way, it goes wherever it wants to go. No one's in control anymore. That's the same thing with your business. You have to know the USP, the why. Somebody buys you, somebody pays for you in order to control that. What are your ads focused on if you don't know what it is that you're selling yourself? You're just letting it get out of control, right? But here's the thing. Let me ask you another quick question. What does a doctor charge per hour? Uh, An ER doctor who uh, saves lives every day. When you go into the ER, what, what do you get charged an hour to be there? No one knows. I mean, yeah, there's probably somebody who knows. There's a system that tells you, right? You just get a bill and you go, wow, insurance didn't pay a lot of that. That sucked. That was expensive. 
but nobody walks in and goes, oh gosh, uh, I just got shot. What are, your, what do you charge an hour? Oh gosh, uh, I charge uh, $350 an hour. Yeah, but that other guy up the street, he charges 300. Can you match that? Nobody does that. But they do in services. Why? Is because you haven't told them what they're buying. You haven't told them the you, the USP, the unique selling point, the reason that somebody buys you. They're focused on price. If I go in somewhere and I just got shot and I think this guy's going to save my life, I'm not going to ask him how much money he needs for it. He's going to save my life. Hey, tell me why you're better. Oh, it's because I can save your life. <laughs> That's the answer. The answer is why. The answer is not how much, right? Yes, I know. I'm comparing us to doctors who are saving lives. But I've made the amount of money that a doctor's made an hour. I'm still in an experience. Here's the other thing. Anybody's willing to save their life, but people are not willing to pay more for organic food. Think about that. You're willing to go into an ER and spend thousands of dollars because it's needed at that time, that emergency, that blah. I have cancer. I need to go get uh, chemotherapy and do all that. That is right now. It is happening. It has to be done. But nobody... There's studies that have shown that organic. I don't eat organic, by the way. Look at me. I'm, I'm a full-figured male. I don't, I don't focus on uh, uh, organic. But people don't. For the majority, the organic section in the grocery store is very small. People go, "Well, I'm not spending three dollars on a bag of carrots. That's too much." But if there was somebody standing there who worked for the carrot company and said, "I have," cancer and it's from eating vegetables that weren't organic it's from the pesticides it's been proven blah 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 i am going to you know pass away in in one month because of this i guarantee you if somebody sold the reason why people would buy organic instantly now i'm not here to talk about organic carrots that's not the idea but what do people spend money on I'm going to Disney in like a couple months, which I hate Disney, by the way, but I have two daughters and a wife who want to go to Disney, so that's what I'm doing. But anyway, I digress. Tickets for three days for us. If Bobby Walker's watching, by the way, if you got any tips and tricks, let me know. By the way, we'll, we'll hook up Bobby. But anyway, um, it, it's <laughs> $1,500 for three days of tickets. Just for the tickets, not including getting there and the Airbnb and the food and the just the tickets to walk in the door is fifteen hundred dollars. Are there other amusement parks? Yes, they're not Disney. I, I'm 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 willing to spend money on experiences. I'm willing to spend money on experiences. If you make yourself an experience, not just clean windows. People are willing to spend money on you. Window cleaning is a luxury already. Nobody needs to have their windows clean. Nobody needs to have their house washed unless you're in an HOA. You can just take the fees, I guess. But nobody needs clean concrete. Nobody needs a roof that doesn't have black streaks. We are 100% a luxury. I had somebody say, well, yeah, but if you don't clean your windows, they get damaged. Sure. Windows could be damaged. People live with cracked windows. Cracked windows. And it's okay. Right? We're a luxury. Once you understand that we are a luxury, it's easier to understand the why somebody is deciding to buy. They've gotten to the point in their life. Maybe you're in the point in your life where you wouldn't even hire a window cleaner if you weren't in this industry. You'd do it yourself. There's a lot of that. That's cool, right? When somebody gets to the point where they can hire out services, it's to alleviate the stress of doing that service. It's the experience of not having to spend eight hours with Windex, paper towel, and cussing up a storm trying to make them look halfway crappy. That's what they're paying for. They're, ex they're paying for that to be alleviated. They're paying for that pain to be taken away. They're paying for that experience. I always say we sell free time. 
Think about that concept. We sell free time. I don't sell clean windows. I don't sell a clean house or clean gutters or I sell free time. I sell you being able to golf this weekend. I sell that you can go on vacation next week knowing everything's done. I sell that you can have family over for the holidays, not have to worry about that one little bit. It will take you only a week instead of a week and a day to get ready for all these people to come to your house. I sell that. That's what I sell. That's what you sell. That's what we sell. We sell free time. We sell the experience and we sell the luxury. If you're selling on that base, people are willing to go on vacation. They're willing to go sit on a boat. Hey, I'd like a boat to bring me around. Oh, I can eat anything I want. Let's do it. People don't really look. They may have a budget in mind of what they want to spend, but people are willing to spend thousands of dollars to go somewhere for a week. Think about camping. You get to a point of your life that you make so much money that you could pretend to be homeless <laughs> for a weekend. Right? Yeah, camping is cheap, but it's the experience. Why do you want to go lay? I got, I got a $3,000 bed. My pillow cost me $100 or whatever. I don't know what that is. One of those, not $100, maybe 50 bucks. I don't know. It's one of those like my pillows, the weird creepy guy with the, yeah, that's what I have, right? I have that and guess what? I have a heater. I have an air conditioner. I don't have bugs in my house. I have a toilet. I have a refrigerator full of food. But instead, I'm going to go pretend to be homeless. And if you got an RV or a trailer, I'm going to pay a lot of money for that to go pretend to be homeless. I'm going to go spend tons of money to try to not be as homeless, right? Think about that. People are buying the experience of camping. You know, they're buying the experience of camping. What's an RV? And by, my, by the way, I like RVs. I love camping and doing that stuff. So I'm not gunning on that, but I'm bringing up an interesting point. Maybe it's interesting. It's interesting to me. I don't care. But an RV is a very, very uncomfortable house that costs a lot to get at places. That's what it is. The beds are not huge, right? The tables are a little cramped. The stove is small. The It is not a house. Well, I mean, the big ones are, but that's even then it's still small, right? But people are willing to pay a crap ton of money. These RVs, we were just at an RV show. They're like 60000 for the small ones, right? They go upwards of two, dollars $300,000 for the big ones. To live in a, in a house that's adequate. For the experience of it. We get to travel. We get to see the world. I get to go look at carvings of faces in Mount Rushmore. I get to go drive and go look at the coast. I get to go to the low country. And eat low country boils or crawfish or whatever you're doing. They're paying for the experience. and They're willing to pay anything for that. That's what you need to sell. Find your niche. Find your niche and sell the crap out of it. Sell the why. Sell the experience. Why do they choose you? And not the same reason that they choose anybody. Well, I make your life easier. Yeah, so does everybody. If I hire any window cleaner, I don't have to clean my windows. That's kind of the point. But why? Why? And I want you to have, on your unique selling point, I want you to have a big one. I want you to have that one selling point that you could tell anybody and they're opening their checkbooks. Right? The uh, Futurama, take my money. Right? I want that. But I also want you to have five, ten reasons that are unique to you. They may not be as big of a selling point, but they're pretty unique. That's what you push on. That's why you're selling that. As uh, somebody who sells window cleaning supplies, you get me. Everybody goes, well, why do I buy? Why should I buy from you? Because you get me. You get my knowledge. I don't know everything. I always say that. I, I don't. I, none of us do. I'm not anybody special. But I have, say, 13 years of experience and hard experience because I've been really, do, do, you know, dove, divin, do, whatever. I've been deep into the industry for a very long time. I've tried every single product that's on the market, right? I may not have as much experience as the next guy who's had a business for 20 years. But I've bought and sold businesses in multiple states. And I've been hard in this industry for 13 years. There's not one other person out there 
that will give you the information, the time, and the knowledge that I bring. And if you buy from me, you get that. I don't want to sound cheesy, but you're buying me. That's why people buy from me. That's why they let me be their rep. Is sometimes they're just awesome. And they're like, hey, if if I ever have a question on something, I know you're there. But I want to buy from you. High five. Here's my order. It's in the cart. Go ahead and put it in. They'll shoot me a text. Right? Other people call me, text me, email me. I get emails all the time like, hey man, I got this project come up. It's a little bit out of my spectrum. I haven't done it yet. What do you think? Cool. Hey, here's my thoughts, man. Here's what I see. Here's what I would think. Give me the address. So let's look at it. Hey man, I'm looking at getting into water fed. I've never done water fed. I've done my research, but I just, I'm a little confused. I just want to hear it from somebody. Cool. Here's every composite. Here's why that composite exists. Here's why a high mod pole is twice as expensive as the other. Here's all the, ex- here's, here's everything, right? That's why people can go and get me. That's why people will go and buy from WCR. Largest forum in the world for window cleaning, WCR. Largest Facebook group in the world for window cleaners, WCR. We have the largest window cleaning uh, YouTube channel of anybody in window cleaning, pressure washing. We have the most videos, 1,300 videos. We have weekly podcasts, which there's a lot of weekly podcasts out there. Maybe none of them are specifically oriented to the business of window cleaning. This one is. That's why you choose us. That's why people choose us. They're getting so much more than supplies. Now you have to find that for yourself. It's the same thing. A window cleaning is a window cleaning. It's the same reason anybody can go anywhere to buy supplies. Right? Why do they choose WCR? Why do they choose me? 862-312-2026. Just text me, call me, whatever. No, but why do they choose us? Why do they choose me? I have the most awesome clients in all of the world. I have such awesome people who I don't even, I've never even talked to. I get texts all the time of people are like, hey, my order's in my cart. Can you put it in? Holy cow, dude, I've never talked to you. But you decided to let me do that. You decided to trust me and, and, and use me to put that in. That's huge. I love those people. Right? But why are they doing that to you? Why do they call you and say, hey, FYI, uh, uh, I just want you to go do my window. Oh, right, let's get you a bid. No, no, just, I know you guys are charged. Why did they do that? Why did they choose you when the phone book, the Google machine, why, <laughs> there's a ton of window cleaners out there. Why did they choose you? It's something to look into because the why is really what people buy. But if I'm selling you a Ferrari, you're going to pay more than if I'm selling you a non-explanation. If I'm just selling you something, you're going to pay a dollar. But if I tell you what it is, or I sell to you on what it is, I tell you the benefits, then you're buying it. Sales is just explanation, right? People come to us for water fed, for traditional, for whatever. All I do is explain what's out there. I tell you what I think is better. I'm not, I'm a no bull kind of guy. All of us are. All of us have owned window cleaning companies here that work here. None of us are bullcrap guys. I'm not going to sell you something I don't like. I'm going to tell you. Somebody's like, oh, what about this? <laughs> I'm not going to recommend that. Well, somebody's like, oh, what do you recommend that's not carbon fiber? I don't. I know, I know, I know you like carbon fiber. What would you recommend under that? I don't. I don't like any of the composites. I don't use them. I don't like them. I've tried every pole that's on the market for the most part. And I can tell you what I like, right? That's what they're choosing. That, that's why they're going. Why did, they, why did they choose you? It's the same concept. Once you find that out, then you can push that out there. And then people aren't focused on price because there's only one you. There's only one company that offers what you offer. There's only one company that offers the experience, the luxury, the free time that you offer. Only one. And it's you. So figure it out. Go on to Instagram. Go do that. You got an Instagram account? You don't use an Instagram account? Cool. Well, just friend me. I need validation. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Uh, At uh, Jersey WCR Nation. Uh, If you're putting a hashtag in, put hashtag I am Nation. Start a conversation. Share the content. I would appreciate that. Most importantly, buy your supplies through me. 
862-312-2026. Yes, shop all night. Put it in your cart. Make sure you're logged in and it will save. And then shoot me a text and be like, hey, it's in my cart. Do it. Let's do it. I'd appreciate it. Genuinely would. It's a virtual high five. And uh, like David Davies said, uh, it's cheddar, man. I got to get that cheddar. I'm from Wisconsin. I love the cheddar. But anyway, find it. Start the conversation. Let's be vocal here if you're listening. I have, every week we have over a thousand people that listen, well over a thousand people that listen to this show every single week. Let's start the conversation. Like, let's open it up. Let's go. I mean, this is cool what we're talking, but let's let's open it up. Go do that. Jump on, like I said. Hit me on Instagram, blah, 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 all the fun stuff. Thumbs up the video. Comment if you're watching on YouTube. And until next week, go out there and be epic.